did always want to make things happen and boss people around. That's what my dad said when I asked him if there was any clue when I was a kid that I might become an event organizer. And he's right. I, I do make things happen and boss people around, but now I try to do so as politely as possible. So in that vein, I'd like you all to do something for me. <laughs> I'd like for you all to think about somebody that you know, I mean, I'm sorry, to think about a time when you were in another town and you got to see something that was an amazing event and you thought, I hope somebody would do that in my town. Well, I'm here to try to encourage you to be that somebody. I've been lucky enough through my last few years to help bring a few events to town. And I helped with those projects. Dun, 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 this is where you dance. <laughs> the 20th anniversary of Earth Day was just a few months after my 20th birthday. And after that, I was lucky enough for 10 years to be able to bring together an event called Eroticon. Now, it was a wild event for sure, but it also promoted sexual health, like Debbie would prefer, as well as honest communication. After that, as she mentioned, I got completely passionate about roller derby and the Bleeding Heartland Roller Girls. Do we have any fans out there? Yeah, yeah. Well, the doctors told me I had to quit. Um, <laughs> it is a pretty rough sport, so, I was looking for a new project, some, some, something to inspire me, to motivate me to do something else. Now, let me tell you, never underestimate the power of a video posted on Facebook. A friend of mine posted one that inspired me and pushed me into action. It was a wintertime parade in Austria featuring the Krampus. How many of you out there know about the Krampus? <laughs> All right. Now, let me initiate the rest of you. So basically, in Alpine Europe, St. Nicholas makes a list of kids who've been naughty and nice. And for the good kids, he gives them toys, presents, and candy. It's sounding familiar, right? But he also has this evil sidekick, and that's where the naughty kids kind of come into play. Basically, the Krampus love to terrorize children, and they'll hit them with switches or even carry them away in the basket. And I thought, Watching this video, I am totally mesmerized. I'm watching these crazy creatures with big horns and these little kids screaming in terror as, as well as joy. <laughs> and I thought, we need to do that here. So <laughs> the tricky part, of course, was that we had to actually go track down the Krampus. Um, we had to get St. Nicholas um, to get a whole tribe to bring them to Bloomington, and let me just tell you, that wasn't exactly easy, and TSA was completely unamused. Um, so I knew that this was going to be a challenge, uh, but I'd like to kind of give you some things that I knew from my previous events that helped me get through that, and I think they're things that could help you if you had a cool event. You know, that thing you saw in the other town. And again, in the spirit of being bossy, I'd like for you to do something with me again. I'd like for you to think of someone that you know that has lots of talent. And in a moment, I want you to say that person's name as well as what their mad skill is with enthusiasm. Now, let me give you an example. We have the lovely Sarah Smith Robbins, witty MC. Ta da Okay, now extroverts, I am sure you are ready to go. Introverts, it's okay. We're not going to judge you if you say it quietly or just think it to yourself. Respect. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> you all know some talented people, so you've, you're one step on your path to get there. The thing is next is that you just have to convince them to do what they already want to do and that they're going to be good at it. And that's the part my dad says I'm pretty good at. So to do so, you want to grow that community. You want to bring them together. I encourage people to open up their homes and have meetings at their house so they can get people to have time to learn about each other's skills and personalities. Because the reality is, is when you get to an event, even if you're the one in charge, you aren't. The people in charge are the team that you put together that you trust enough to do the task that you recruited them to do. So find the right people, give them an opportunity to do what they want to do, and create a community to help them do that. 
Second thing, if there is any big key that I have learned in doing event organizing, it's one key phrase, and that is, everything will be just fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter how great these things go. It doesn't matter what can go wrong. For example, at the Super Bowl, right, the power went out for 33 minutes. <laughs> everything was just fine. Everything worked out OK. At Earth Day, many years ago, the river mysteriously changed this crazy neon color while little kids were frolicking in it. <sighs> At Eroticon, we had a fire performer fling flames under the stage. I was like, oh my gosh, but everything was just fine. <laughs> so say it with me, you ready? Everything will be just fine. See, another step closer, you're good to go. So here we were, we're getting ready, and I'm, I'm thinking about the video, and I'm thinking about what we need to do, and I realize I can do this, but I've only got 13 months to make it happen. So we reached out, and we pulled together, and after that full year, Krampus Night was finally here. Now, I pulled the team together before we took the Krampus out of the lair, and I said, just remember, it's been a wild ride, we've had a great time, and there may not be anybody really to watch, maybe just 100 people. But I just want you to enjoy yourself. But most importantly, be careful of the Krampus. We were buzzing with energy, full of excitement, because we knew something new was about to happen in town. Well, one of the first things that we learned was how to load Krampus into pickup trucks. <laughs> Actually, we got that wrong the first round, and we had to learn how to start a parade without all the Krampus, or myself, or St. Nicholas. But, you know, like I said, everything was just fine, and eventually St. Nicholas tracked down the Krampus on their march downtown, and angels were leading the way. And the angels had these lovely stickers that they were handing out to everyone as a signal to let people know who's naughty and who's nice. St. Nicholas and the angels handed out candy, but it also allowed those 13 rampaging Krampus to know exactly who had been bad. <laughs> so as we're marching through downtown, working our way through the crowds, we're enjoying seeing all the different sights on that cold, wintry night. We eventually ended up at Rhino's All Ages Club and rocked out with the teenagers, which was fun, and then moved our way down to Dunmeadow at IU campus and scared <laughs> lots of fabulous people. Um, <laughs> then we went to the Bluebird Nightclub as well as Jake's Nightclub and had a great time throughout the evening. It was a full night for the Krampus as well as the community. Well, if there was one thing, it just made us so, so happy because the community had fully come out in support. We thought maybe just 100, and it ended up being over 1,000 people. Blew our minds. And for those of you who don't know, this town's not that big. So one of the things that excited us most, though, was to see the little kids that were truly screaming in terror and joy. So the next time you think, I wish somebody would do that in my town, I want to encourage you to be that person. Thanks.